we prepared a bunch of uh, metal complexes of the uh, phenothiazinyl uh, porphyrins uh, we had. Um, not very good results uh, with the um, uh, fluorescence properties for the uh, metal compounds, and this is understandable as the porphyrin, who was the emitting uh, part of the uh, molecule, is uh, interested in uh, coordination uh, to the uh, metals. We um, tested the uh, properties of the uh, prepared compounds against uh, some cell lines, um, uh, two cell lines, the first bought from Heidelberg uh, Bank and the other from European Bank, so are the standard uh, skin cell uh, lines. And uh, we found out there is no activity in, uh, in the dark, but there is uh, activity in the under uh, red light and blue light for uh, uh, one of our uh, compounds. Um, unfortunately, the results are not uh, better than other uh, photosensitizers uh, used. So here, we again, we have to work a little bit uh, more. We tried the um, to check the toxicity and uh, the survival uh, results, and uh, the results were presented in the, on the previous um, slide. This ends the uh, part, the organ organic uh, chemistry part. Uh, I picked out the, the results I uh, presented. Here, there is no biologic activity. Though there is no cell lines, but there is what we think uh, some nice uh, chemistry. Uh, this research is in uh, relation with uh, our uh, cooperation with Toulouse University. I started this cooperation in 1993 and was continued by uh, um, our younger co-workers uh, in the lab. The the aim of, uh, of the research was the preparation of, of phosphoalkenyl metallilins. The compounds were, uh, in these examples, tin and uh, germanium are in um, oxidation state uh, two. One of the uh, synthesis path is presented uh, here, starting from this uh, adduct, reacting with the um, uh, silla phospha uh, propene. We uh, succeeded to prepare the monosubstituted uh, tin compound. No uh, reaction, no product uh, separated, not even in uh, small amounts uh, with the uh, uh, two substitution. The compound was uh, characterized by uh, X-ray diffraction, and uh, you can see the structure um, here, the, all the bond lengths and uh, the angles are uh, in the expected uh, range. So this is the uh, compound. We, all the compounds presented here and in the uh, lecture, all in all, were characterized using all the spectroscopic uh, spectral methods um, suited for the compounds and from time to time by, by X-ray uh, diffraction. Uh, we were more successful uh, following another path. We uh, succeeded to uh, see the transient uh, species uh, presented here for both uh, germanium and tin. Then uh, in reaction with the uh, uh, carbon, we uh, succeeded to uh, prepare both uh, desubstituted compounds with germanium and uh, tin. Here is the X-ray st structure of the uh, germanium compound, and here is the structure of the uh, tin compound. Um, 
these were the first representative of the, this class of uh, compounds published in uh, chemical communication in 2012. And we were very happy to um, succeed to do this. Uh, we tried the uh, coordination um, capability of uh, these, uh, these compounds. And uh, we have some standard uh, reactions, the reactions with uh, platinum, which led to the uh, uh, compound where uh, phosphorus and germanium are coordinated to the uh, platinum. We expected the two phosphorus to coordinate, but germanium was uh, nice and uh, coordinated. You see even the NMR, uh, 31 phosphorus NMR um, spectra. Uh, we tried the reaction and we got the uh, compound you see in the uh, figure, the reaction with gold, with gold as an adduct and with uh, gold iodine, uh, gold one. And uh, we got this <coughs> compound where germanium is coordinated to uh, gold. Uh, this um, bunch of atoms, germanium, gold, phosphorus, uh, we think um, is a promising uh, structure for uh, interesting properties. And the structures you see here. We tried uh, and separated the uh, compounds, uh, tried the reaction with uh, sulfur and selenium and the oxidation of germanium. And uh, we got the um, mono germano uh, thion and germano selenon. Uh, here you, you see the uh, general formula. Here you see the um, X-ray diffraction uh, structure for um, uh, the, the adduct with uh, sulfur. Uh, with selenium, we got a very nice um, inorganic uh, um, cycle uh, with three uh, selenium atoms and two uh, germanium atoms, which was, uh, of course, uh, could be seen uh, better um, by uh, uh, molecular determination using uh, X-ray diffraction. The tin uh, compounds reacted with sulfur and uh, led to a disulfide, which is, again, not unexpected for the um, organotin uh, chemistry. And with the selenium, the uh, monoselenide, uh, which was uh, prepared uh, and characterized uh, accordingly. The uh, synthesis of new phosphacilla uh, proteins is the topic of a new PhD thesis. I started with a PhD student who got enough results to defend um, Agota Bartok, to defend her PhD thesis, but uh, there is a lot to do uh, in this field. We aim the um, um, heteroaline uh, compounds. We were successful. We intend to uh, get more. You could see on that structure we have two chlorine atoms. The straightforward reaction is to replace the, uh, one of the chlorine with the lithium and then have the uh, elimination of lithium uh, chloride and uh, get a double bond. In theory, it's easy, it's simple. Uh, sometimes the traces of water are uh, uh, guilty for not getting the right compounds, but getting, as you will see, interesting compounds. Uh, sometimes what happened, and uh, we have some uh, publications on the topic, the organolithium compound formed is very stable. It's not willing to uh, eliminate the lithium chloride. The, the structure is packed, so the lithium is caught inside and there is no uh, elimination. No matter the uh, reaction conditions, 
applied. <laughs> so we, we tried the, the reaction of, of this, uh, this compound <laughs> with the, the coordination properties because uh, we are part of us uh, coordination chemists. Uh, this is the structure of the product we, we got uh, in the reaction with these uh, fluorenyl derivatives. Um, fluorenyl derivatives were, were the, um, was the class of compounds I was dealing in Toulouse, and then the fluorenyl group remained in our lab uh, as a very useful uh, group because it's sterically hindered, has very interesting uh, properties, uh, which I will not um, discuss uh, now. So we got this uh, intermediate. Then we prepared the gold uh, complex with phosphorus coordinated to gold. I mentioned the traces of water. Traces of water are very well, uh, very, uh, everywhere, so uh, the uh, hydrolysis took place uh, on, on silicon. We didn't see this compound, but we uh, saw this, so we um, assumed that this compound was formed dur during the uh, reaction. For this, we have the uh, X-ray structure, and uh, it's a nice compound. Professor Hajduk um, liked the compound a lot. Uh, of course, we tried the coordination to platinum, and um, we um, succeeded to prove using only uh, spectral methods that uh, we, we got, we, we have the platinum coordinated to the, uh, the phosphorus coordinated to the uh, platinum in the traditional square planar uh, way. Uh, the reaction with the tungsten um, carbonyl was uh, done in, in uh, uh, THF irradiation, it's the classic uh, way. And uh, again, we uh, have the proofs, uh, spectroscopic proof for this uh, compound. And as I mentioned, now a PhD student who is going to um, cover the PhD in a co to tell arrangement between uh, me and the group in Toulouse, we hope will uh, uh, go to the heteroalines we um, we aim. We uh, now put together the phenothiazine and the metals. And we have the phenothiazinyl uh, phenyl uh, phosphines. It's a class of uh, ligands prepared by the first time in, uh, in our group. Uh, it was a challenge to uh, introduce ph uh, phosphorus in the, uh, on the uh, phenothiazine. We succeeded to prepare the um, phenothiazinyl uh, phenylphosphines with phosphorus in position one, three, and four. Position two is unavailable for uh, uh, us for the moment. With these uh, ligands, Guan Yu, uh, and uh, we uh, prepared uh, um, the metal complexes with palladium and uh, uh, platinum. And we got, uh, basically, uh, we have three types of ligands. We got three types of uh, structure. Uh, 